Superman coffee cup from Allison for Father's Day. Check out the cape. Yep. Okay, simple stuff. All right, we got. Here's the plug. You know, all and whatever connector goes into the, the Chinese uh, plasma cutter unit. Apparently, these contacts where the switch plugs in to make the switch replaceable uh, are not tight enough. Um, lost contact. Alright, I'm going to do some desoldering there. Okay, this is my switch. Okay. Plasma, 60 amp plasma cutter head. Eliminated the little quick connects the Chinese engineers put on there that were just complete junk. Now I'm going to solder this and uh, set my switch back into place. My stinger will be ready to rock and roll. Let's see if we can get it up there. That's my switch. I'm going to solder it. Uh, that weak joint. Primus ripping in the background. Okay, look. That's about it right there. It's my first solder joint on this mess. I'm taping it all up, putting this thing back together. This is not the gun. This may be the gun I used initially for the CNC project, but uh, I'm going to do a straight gun instead of, instead of this. This will work to fire it up and make the rest of the brackets. This one taped down. Second one done. Had to get my hotter iron. I'm dealing with a little bit of wind. Uh, you can't see the up there. We got leaves moving around, but uh, I was pulling heat off my little, little iron. Had to get the big one. That's it. She's hardwired now. All right. That's what she looks like put back together. I put some glue dots in here. I don't know if they're going to handle the heat, but if they turn to snot, we'll find out. We'll have to use something a little more heavy duty. Okay, you can see the leads plugged in over here into the end of the stinger that goes into the plasma cutter. I think she's fixed. And it doesn't spin. Got the little glue drops in there. Come on, baby, we got work to do.